In this video, I will be teaching you about cubic inequalities. So when we're dealing with cubic inequalities, we'll usually have a graph presented to us and then we'll be asked to solve for the inequality. So over here we have a question that states that the diagram shows a part of the graph y is equal to 1 over 6 times x minus 3 times x minus 2 times x plus 2. And we have to use the graph to solve the inequality x minus 3 times x minus 2 times x plus 2 is less than or equal to 6. And we can look at the graph over here. As I stated, the graph of y is equal to 1 over 6 times x minus 3 times x minus 2 times x plus 2 is represented. Now right off the bat, you probably noticed that this equation over here, so we have our inequality, I'll just rewrite it on the side. So our inequality, x minus 3, times x minus 2 times x plus 2 is less than or equal to 6 does not match the equation that we're given. So over here our equation is y is equal to 1 over 6 times x minus 3 times x minus 2 times x plus 2. So if our inequality, which is right here, doesn't match our graph, which is right here, then there we can't really solve for it. So what we want to do is we want to get our inequality that we have right over here, is that we want to get our inequality to match our graph. So how do we do that? Well, if you look at both of these equations, they're practically identical or almost identical. So x minus 3 times x minus 2 times x plus 2 is over here. And over here, we also have x minus 3 times x minus 2 times x plus 2. The only real difference is the 1 over 6. So we want to get this equation, or our inequality, to match this whole entire equation that we have over here. So how do we do that? What we can do is we can just multiply this by 1 over 6. So we get 1 over 6 times x minus 3 times x minus 2 times x plus 2 now, you see, by multiplying it by, so, times 1 over 6, by multiplying it by 1 over 6, we made it match our graph, or the equation represented inside of our graph. And this is less than or equal to 6 times 1 over 6. So we get 1 over 6 times x minus 3 times x minus 2 times x plus 2 is less than or equal to 1. So now our inequality over here matches the equation represented inside of our graph. So how do we find our answer now? Well, we want to find all of the points where this equation is less than or equal to 1. So we find the, or the line y is equal to 1 in our graph. That would be right over here, going like this. And we want to find all of the places where our equation is less than or equal to it. So we see that from this point going down, our graph is less than or equal to 1. And from and in this part of our curve, our graph is also less than or equal to 1. So that's between this point and this point. Now we just need to represent that as an inequality. So this point over here, is about negative 1.6. So x can be less than or equal to negative 1.6. So that represents this part of our graph, or all of the values going in this direction. And then from the point, this looks like x is equal to 1. So if x is greater than or equal to 1, and less than or equal to, that looks like about 3.6, so less than or equal to 3.6. So for these values, our inequality is true, or 1 over 6 times x minus 3 times x minus 2 times x plus 2 is less than or equal to 1. And once again, what we did was we just found all of the points that are underneath this line over here, so everything beneath this is less than or equal to 1. Most of the questions that you will come across for cubic inequalities will look very similar. You'll be given a diagram or a graph, such as the one that we were given over here, 
and you will be asked to solve for a certain inequality. And essentially what we have to do is we have to make the equation and the inequality match the equation in the graph, just as we did over here.